Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. If you're new, tuning in perhaps for the first time, very warm welcome on board. Please do hit the big red shiny subscribe button down below and don't forget to give today's video a like as well whilst you're here. It all helps uh, grow the channel community and hopefully you enjoy all of the videos. Today we're in the Flava Wire a 32 x Airbus A320neo and we're at Stuttgart at the moment on the VATSIM network. Whilst we're here, we're not going to be going very far, but we're going to be checking out some of the latest features to the Fly by Wire A32 and X add-on available for Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, of course its biggest freeware project as well for the sim. So at the moment, we're cold and dark on stand here at Stuttgart and uh, we're going to first take a look at the new hydraulics function to the aircraft. So uh, you remember quite a while ago, the cargo door that's opening at the moment was uh, reanimated like so to have a bit more of a realistic bounce and a bit more of a realistic hinge mechanism as well with the speed and everything involved. However, the Flabawa team have now implemented hydraulics with aileron droop, as we can see there, and also elevator droop too, like so. Synonymous, of course, with uh, Airbus aircraft when you're looking around the airfield. And there's the left wing as well with its aileron droop there too. So fantastic feature from Flabawa. You'll notice of course uh, whilst we've been talking over the last couple of minutes the droop itself has actually um, progressed. So it didn't begin with the aileron droop itself uh, already in place. But a great start to making something look a lot more realistic. I mean from a distance now when you look you can see the aileron, aileron and elevator droop on the aircraft. Um, and it just makes everything look a little bit more realistic, more immersive. So we've got APU switched on, we're now starting engine 2, aileron droop is still present as is elevator droop and uh, once engine 2 started I'd like to think we will get some uh, pressurisation in the system. There we go. That looked awesome. And the elevator is all ready to go as well. And now we've got movable surfaces. Fantastic. Um, so the next thing is going to be hoppies or CPDLC. And it's effectively. Um, kind of like an ATC link inside here. So I've gone ahead and created just a random flight plan. Stuttgart to Frankfurt, only a half hour, just for the purposes of testing. And we're connected to the VATSIM network at the moment. So to get CPDLC Hoppy ACAS switched on and working, you need to go to the Hoppy's website, and the link for that will be in the description down below, which is hoppy.nl, H-O-P-P-I-E.nl. And uh, you just want to click on the left-hand side that says Get Logon Code. You want to put your full name, email address, and the anti-abuse riddle in. Click Register. You wait for uh, an email, and uh, you can then click My Account on the Hoppy's website. Put your full name, addresses, and address in, and then you've got your logon code. Well, that email address that you get will contain the logon code that you need and you want to put it into settings in the EFB and then in the ATSU tab at the bottom there's a Hoppies logon section. Don't share it with anybody, uh, that's where you put it. And then you want to click the radio button and at the bottom here it says Hoppies ACARS and it will say connect because uh, you haven't yet connected so you want to then hit connect it will change to disconnect when it's connected to the hobby system. Uh, and then this should all be, in theory, alive. You need to press the button, Hoppy's connection on the EFB ATC page that we've just seen every time before you do a flight. And uh, every time you restart the sim as well, or reload the aircraft, you have to then press the connect button again. You can change the data link transmission speed between instant, fast and real. When you hear on the network, combat sim, clearance via PDC, then uh, that's kind of what it refers to here. A lot of controllers will send it via text. They, they need to have a version of Hoppies for their controller clients. But working as well, sadly. 
but you can fill it out like so, gate 9, ATIS, if you've got an ATIS information you can uh, make sure your aircraft type is correct there as well. And uh, so your page will look something like this. Uh, free text you can type in um, basically whatever you like. And because we're not flying anywhere I'm just going to put something like hoppy test. Now if you're brand new on BATSIM and you've never flown before then you want to put in somewhere like this you want to put in first flight or something like that. There you go, hoppy test. Uh, more free text, you can add more if you wish as well. And then when you're ready, you can just hit send. And now it says send. Now any important data from the controllers will be done via voice. So um, things like heading, safety critical things will never be done via this method. But to get your clearance for the start of a flight, this is fantastic, uh, or really during busy events when you just want to perhaps climb another 2,000 feet, descend another 2,000 feet, that sort of thing, you can uh, make use of this system here. In the sent messages of the AOC you can see their PDC request has been sent off. Each of these buttons usually consists of something like Wilco, Standby, Enable, that sort of thing. So just a very quick button that tells you that you will comply. Uh, standby if it's maybe a route change and uh, you need a bit of time getting it all recorded and, and amended yourself before you confirm it uh, or enable if you can't so that could be a um, an instruction to climb from flight level 370 to flight level 420 as an example but your aircraft can't do that so you'd click the button that says enable it makes more sense when uh, it's used but there aren't many stations that are actually using it at the moment uh, you do need to check in via voice to begin with as well before you send any requests off. And in the description below there is a link that I'm going to put in there that allows you to see the current online stations and call signs that are using it around the world. So you'll be able to have a little look and see if you've got, uh, if you're going to be planning a flight for example, you might find that there is a en route sector like Euro West or an airport like Helsinki that have got copies uh, open and active and working so be sure to give it a go. I only wanted to show you guys really how to um, get it connected via your Hoppies logon and then the Hoppies ACARS connect button here that you need to do every time you restart any flights and then just how to send off a PDC basically. The rest I think would be quite self-explanatory. Um, Basically you get the message in the screen here, you can plus or minus to scroll and move around the messages but then also you can respond using the four hotkeys at the bottom and uh, the relevant answer for each of these buttons depending on the message sent will be visible in these little sections on the screen as well. I hope you found today's little video useful. Just an introduction to the Hoppy ACAR system now on the Flyby Y A32NX and of course the new hydraulic simulations with elevator and aileron droop as well. Be sure to hit like and subscribe down below, share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're a Hoppy Pro then uh, share all your tips and tricks of the system with the community in the comments section as well um, so we can all sort of learn it together in the comments area of this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you join me in a live stream very soon. Take care.